Greetings everyone, Mama Goddess here, and welcome back to Mama Goddess's Space. This message is for the sign of Gemini. So if you have Gemini in your chart, or you are a sun sign Gemini, this message is for you. Thank you so much for joining me, and thank you for allowing me to be a part of your spiritual journey. Let's go ahead and dive right in. <clears throat> Spirit, what message do you have for Gemini? Okay, you got the two of coins, the three of coins, the six of baskets, two of sticks, four of six, ace of knives, ace of baskets, and the sun card. This is good. <clears throat> Let me pull some more clarifiers for you, Gemini, to see, to get a more in-depth understanding, to get clarity for what it is Spirit wants you to know. So, with the two of coins that you have so far, just going <clears> to <throat> start off with the two of coins of what I'm seeing with the two of coins. Two represents duality, partnership, and balance. And coins represents finances and security. So, it may be a challenging time for you financially. Um... Where it's feeling like, um, I'm trying to do this, I'm trying to do that, I'm trying to make this happen, I'm trying to work to do this, trying to get this money up to do that. And, um, yeah, you're going to have help. You see with this two of coins right here, okay, you see this circle right here that's around this, this man balancing. It's like everything's... You have to try to balance everything, your, your love life, your home life, your work life. Everything is just like, ah, all over the place. This water in the background represents emotions and feelings. And it may feel like at times where uh, stress is the biggest thing. It's the biggest component. Um, but that circle that's around this 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 man on this balancing act says to or on this uh, unicycle I said balancing act <laughs> balancing act because that's what it feels like like ah there's so much to do uh, you're protected you're protected in this time uh, you have help that's why you have the three of coins three represents group growth and community and coins represents finances and security you're not in this thing by yourself I know it can feel stressful at times. Um, but uh, set your pride aside, Gemini, to ask for help. You have more people for you than you think you have against you, okay? You have the Ace of Baskets. Ace represents new opportunities, beginning of a cycle, growth. Um, baskets represents the matters of the heart. Heart, heart space. For you, Gemini, Spirit wants you to work on your heart space. There is a lot of emotional trauma that has happened to you over the past that Spirit wants you to now release, okay? You have this card that says, release your emotional baggage. Release your emo emotional baggage, Gemini, because um, you've been holding on to this for quite some time. And it's blocked you from having meaningful relationships. Um, you have the six of baskets. Six represents healing, harmony, cooperation. Again, baskets represents the matters of the heart. This whole card here, this card here is, is about revisiting your childhood, things that are nostalgic, um, things that feel familiar. Um, and for you, for this reading, Gemini Spirit is telling you that now it's time to heal your heart. 
but the biggest um, obstacle is you. <laughs> you have this card that says, get out of your own way, Gemini, okay? You are blocking yourself from healing, uh, from, from the healing process. There are things that you can, just got a, a ping, <laughs> Uh, clarification, uh, confirmation. Uh, you you are healing your you are hindering yourself from the healing process. I'm not saying that what has happened to you is um, is not valid, and I'm not invalidating your feelings. But um, and you have the every right to be upset. However, don't let your pride get the best of you. Don't let your pride get the best of you. Yes, you deserve to be upset. Yes, you have uh, the feelings that you have. However, try to look at this outside of yourself, okay? And look at the bigger picture of things. There are some things that you can control and there are some things you can't control. There are some people, well, you can't control anybody. I was gonna say there's some people that you can control. You can't control everybody. Only thing you can control is your response to things and how you react to certain things and certain people, okay? <clears throat> you have this karmic relationship, karmic relationship. <sighs> the reason, Gemini, you keep um, falling for the same type of person is because of these unhealed trauma wounds. Dare I say it, past experiences from your mom. We, we're, we're back at this, Gemini. Okay? We are back at this. Make it right. Make it right, Gemini. I believe I said this last week to make it right with your mom. Okay? The reason why you keep having these failed relationships, the reason why you keep having the, experiencing the same type of woman is because you haven't healed from those traumas with your mom. Make it right, Gemini. Please, please, please make it right. I want so bad for things to be better for you. Um, but you have to want them for yourself. All right. So you have this card that says reproach. I'm going to read this card because I feel like it's important. This is the card number 25. So maybe the number 25 is significant to you. 2 plus 5 equals 7. So maybe the number 7 is significant to you, um, Gemini. But this card says reproach. Uh, I'm reading it as your soul, so your higher self is speaking to you at this time. It says sometimes you are so critical of yourself, so hard on yourself. Sometimes you say things that aren't right and you think and feel them in your bones. You bring these things to life, believing they represent who you are and what you do. This is not so and this is not right. These reproaches have no valid basis because you're not an imperfect being, because you're an imperfect being and you do your best with what you have. You have often been powerless, but this is much to teach you. This has much to teach you. I'm sending you many signs to help you understand your inner wisdom. Even if your outer life, even in your outer life, you feel stripped of everything. You have created great inner wealth. I can sense your inner wealth. It belongs to you and is present in each of your cells. Today, I need you to be confident in this wealth, feeling it deep inside you. You just need to look in the mirror and see all the light that makes up your aura. Your self-reproaches are, aren't valid. They are a reflection of your fears to teach you confidence in yourself. You are a unique and wonderful being. Every day I send you signs to remind you of this. Okay, Gemini, how you're going about, how you truly feel deep down inside is, is thoughts of, of love, of expression, of wanting, of the longing, uh, of happiness. Okay, you have this sun card. It says Big Mama. You want to be happy. You want to tap into um, who you really are. 
because you have this card that says this is not me you want to even tap into the playful side of you gemini you're very playful fun loving um exploratory all of those things but because of your past traumas you lock all of that away and a part of you is even scared to 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 tap in to go within because that means you're going to have to change some things and sometimes gemini change isn't easy for you that's why you have this card that says embrace change it's almost like hurt feels comfortable it's easy it's familiar so i'd rather stay in this hurt than to embrace the change of healing because i don't have time for that i don't I don't, I don't feel like doing that. I don't feel like being in my feelings. I don't feel like trying to heal. I don't feel like revisiting those past traumas because that was the past. But the past is still affecting you today. So Spirit is inviting you to embrace change for your life, for you to change those things in your life, okay? You have this card that says detox your life. Get rid of those negative influences and, and ways of thinking. It's, it's really all in your mind, you being an air sign, Gemini. It's really all in your mind, okay? That's what the air sign represents, the mind, the thinking. Don't overthink this. You have a tendency to do that, Gemini, to make things way bigger than what they need to be. In this time, Spirit's asking you to detox your life, renew your mind in this in this instance because Gemini you're stressed this is why you have this card that says prioritize your health you are stressed you hold on to a lot of things yeah with the ace of knives again you're an air sign the ace of knives knives represents thoughts and ideas it's time to change it it's, it's time to change your thinking it's time to change your thought process okay because then it then it affects your body and stress is a silent killer. You don't want that. This is not it. This isn't it, Gemini, okay? Want better for yourself. Want better for your life. If not for you, do it for the people who are around you. Your daughter, if those of you who have a daughter, your daughter is even watching you. You have the daughter of baskets. Your daughter has a... She really looks up to you and she's going to mimic the things that you do. I feel like those of you who have daughters, you watch how she is developing. Look at your life and then look at her. You may even have a sense of pride that she thinks the way that you think, but is your thinking all the way positive? Do you really want her to have the same type of attributes that you currently have? Do you really want to raise a daughter who is being raised in unhealed traumas? You know what I mean? Are you continuing the stigma of hurt? All right. You have this card that says, Winter, I am inviting divine rest. Spirit wants you to rest, wants your spirit to rest. And then at the bottom of the deck, you have, I embrace transformation. It's time to change up some things, Gemini. Okay? And this is why you have this card that says start fresh. It's time to start fresh. And then right behind it, this card says let it go. Let it go. You can't change the past, but you can heal and grow from it. Okay, this Neptune card that says, fine, I'm finding my way through the illusion. It's all an illusion. It's all of the things that uh, distract you from your healing. Okay, don't, don't, don't let it, don't let it distract you. Spirit wants you, Spirit wants you to calm yourself down. Spirit wants you to be at ease. Spirit wants your, your, the rage that you have inside of you. Spirit wants you to calm be at calm, be at rest, be at peace, Gemini. All right. Pulling out my traveler's deck for a final message for you, Gemini. Let it go. Let it go. But where is Gemini going with this? You have this card that came out. It says home. 
comfort, familiarity, security, belonging, personal space. Come back home. Come back to yourself. Like I said, you've been having this comfort of hurt that it, it feels familiar to you, but it feels like home to you. But you need to create a new home, a new life, a new sense of security. Because what you have built around you has been a false sense of security. You need to relocate. <laughs> you need to find a new home. Yeah. You have this card that says bridge. Connecting the pathway. Uh, overcoming uh Overcoming divides, okay? Again, you you need to bridge the gap for healing. Because again, you don't want to bring your daughter, your niece, any younger female that you have around you, maybe even stepchildren, stepdaughters, you don't want to bring them up in this healing. You want to bridge the gap between generations for your for your for for the next generation. You don't want to continue on with this division. Okay? The the bridge connects from one territory to a, from one land to another land. You need to be the bridge for, for your family in a positive way. All right, Gemini. Yeah. All right, Gemini. Thank you so much for joining me. Thank you for allowing me to be a part of your spiritual journey. If what you have heard today resonated with you and you would like your own reading, please feel free to book on my website. The link is in the description box below. Good luck to you, Sag Sagittarius. Maybe there's a Sagittarius that uh, you need to connect with in this time or you have a Sagittarius that is in your energetic field. Take that how it resonates. Yeah. Hmm. All right. Thank you so much, Gemini. And if you haven't heard it today, know that I love you and you are loved. Until next week, I'll see you then. Peace.